gaining a bunch of life off Soul Cauldron is such a cool upside to playing this deck. What's up everyone, it's the one Jamin. and today we are playing Red Cauldron, and yes, that's because my face is red and my arms are red, so we have to play a mono red deck, right? No, I came back from an NFL game, and I watched it with my fiance, and uh, long story short, we didn't bring sunscreen with us and couldn't find it. Thumbs up for us, so we are suffering the consequences. Regardless, we are playing a deck around Agatha's Soul Cauldron. This, I think, is one of the strongest decks in the set. You can spend mana as though it was mana of any color to activate abilities of creatures you control. That's not going to matter. Creatures you control with plus one, plus one counters on them have all activated abilities of creatures exiled with Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Then you can exile a creature from a graveyard, and then when a creature is exiled this way, put a counter on a creature you control. So it kind of fuels itself. And we have a lot of cards with activated abilities that are pretty good. Ginger Brute can't, says that things can't be blocked unless they have haste. We also have Sir Ginger that I guess can gain life equal to its power, but also this card gets stronger whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, so um, that's pretty good. Automaton gets counters itself, so you don't need Soul Cauldron. We have Frexian Dragon Engine and Voldaren Thrill Seeker. This is the real thing to do with Agatha's, Agatha's Soul Cauldron. We're going to be doming our opponents in the face with... Um, using the activated abilities of this card through Agatha's Soul Cauldron, and we get to keep doing that, so that's pretty good. We also have Jax's Troublemaker to do our own reflection of Kiki Jiki impression, and then Artificer's Dragon is a 4 4 rare uh, from Brothers War, and it says, as 6 mana 4 4 flyer, red artifact creatures you control get plus 1 plus 0 till end of turn, has an earth for 3 and 2 red. The, the thing to do is, is Agatha's Soul Cauldron this, and then every creature with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it has artifact fire breathing so that's pretty good and we get to fuel our graveyard with scrap work mutt and we have iron apprentice here along with patchwork automaton to do the early beats so i think this deck has potential i'm super excited to try it my friend glenn um so graciously put this together and he's super super good and builds super interesting decks and uh it's just brews all the time he doesn't ever play a deck that is uh, that it's tier one for the most part. He will, he, but he's very, very good at brewing new decks. So I put him to the task, and this is what he came up with. So I'm super excited to try it. We have a sideboard here for you, best of three players. Uh, and if you want more coverage against Shields of the Apocalypse, you can play five damage spells or main deck Twisted Field Seal if you want to. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the matches. Can't wait to try it out, and it all starts right now. Ginge. Go, Ginge, go. How dare you play with fire, my Ginger Brute? Hey, I discarded the card I wanted to discard. This is best of one, Kevin. I think I am going to play the engine and then hope and then they're going to lightning strike it, but that's fine. I'd rather than do that than lightning strike my face. Do we just, so we just keep playing against mono red? Correct. That's the most popular deck in best of one. Mutt. I do want to draw a land. And it's a blocker. That's the farthest thing possible. Lifty.
Foundry. Interesting. I realize that thing has trample, but I need it to go. Land. It's pretty strong. So... Can we play out a Soul Cauldron here? I think it's time. Thrill Seeker says Ward sack a creature of power three or less. It really does. Oh god. Don't do it. Don't double lightning strike me. Don't you dare. Don't. Don't. Do it. I feel like they would have done it already if they had it. Feel like they would have done it already. Am I playing out Patchwork? No. I'm gaining life off this. And then when they hit me in the face, I gain life off Thrill Seeker. If they play with Fire Me in response. Which they wouldn't, right? There's no way they would. I still need to hold up the Thrill Seeker just in case they have like damage out of nowhere. Gaining, gaining a bunch of life off Soul Cauldron is such a cool upside to playing this deck. Uh, I should sack the Thrill Seeker now, shouldn't I? No, they could have haste creatures. Crazy. Crazy game. They don't have lightning strike because they didn't do it. I can also put a counter on Foundry and at any point I can animate it and get rid of it. Let's do this.
This. Put another activated ability into this. All right, now I can gain the life with Ginger Brute. Okay, we have to jump block with... Wait, we don't have to jump block. We can kill the adversary here. Minus four damage, how? Drill Seeker face. Well, then I couldn't do that. So we do this, we unearth this, we draw three cards, is there a Voldaren under this? Yes. There's a Ginger Brute, Voldaren, and Artificers. So nothing else does anything? I just need to put a counter on this thing. And we need to gain life. They'll never Lightning Strike us for, to to death. If we just gain three life a turn. Jaxus. All right, so we can Blitz this. Cast this. Play this. Handling another dragon engine. Soul Cauldron. This. Sack it, gain three life, draw a card. We're gaining so much life. I'm 
I'm taking the two. All right. So now what do we do? We thrill seeker. Target the Iron Apprentice. We Cauldron the Jaxus. You lost miserably to the Alara deck. The Alara deck's super good. We Soul Cauldron targeting Thrill Seeker. And then we pass. Because now, when Iron Apprentice when Iron Apprentice dies, we get to put three counters on Voldaren Thrill Seeker. Like after we use it to gain life. Land. Are we gaining life with Apprentice now? No. Because I have a crazy play. I don't know if it's crazy or not, but it's a play. All right. So we can, what we can do here is we can go Thrill Seeker, Jaxus the Apprentice. That gets a counter. We get to Soul Cauldron exile any creature. And then that puts a counter on this. And then we get to... Th and then we get to throw this at this. This dies with two counters. Which means we can t put two more counters on this. Actually, I'm going to put it on this. Draw a card. Automaton. Apprentice. And then we get to pass so that we can gain life off this Apprentice. And then when we gain life of this apprentice, we get to put the three counters on something else. We've gained like infinite life this game. Alright, now we get to. They don't have four damage at instant speed, right? So now we just get to. Sack it and gain three life? Or can we just kill them? That's the question. Can we kill them? I'm gonna try to kill them. Well, I guess it does the same thing. Well, does it? No. Let go. Okay. So, we go... Land... Is there an Artificer's Dragon under this? Yes. So, we go Land... Mutt... Just for a haste creature. No discard, obviously. Animate the Foundry, since it's an artifact creature. Attack with everything? Is this only a sorcery speed ability? Nope.
So what we can do is we can kill the foundry with the thrill seeker. So there's no blocks available. That doesn't do anything though, right? It's actually more damage if we let them block. Because one mana equals five power. And they are blocking four power. So we go Apprentice, Artificer's Dragon. Artificer's Dragon again. Nice. Skrell. You look getting rid of this card, Bucko. It has Ward 2. Oh no, how am I going to play my Soul Cauldron now? I feel like I should just jam these. And then... Can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste. I guess I can just get in for one because I'm not blocking with this anyway. Do I also attack with the patchwork? I don't think so because they can play Adeline next turn. I want to be able to block that with this. I guess they could attack with Dolly, but I don't think so. Recruitment officer. Another recruitment officer. Three one drops? Wow. Uh, I don't want to mutt anything in the graveyard right now. Soul Cauldron is three mana. Um, Thrill Seeker doesn't really do anything right now. Guess I can just play the Cauldron. As long as they can attack through my board anyway, not really. And they can't Brutal Cathar my patchwork anyway. The thing is, Hopeful Initiate can eventually kill Agatha Soul Cauldron. Oh my gosh, their board is humongous. There's a Sir Ginger. Uh... Not gonna lie, you're expecting them to finish it off with a Night Errant? I mean, I mean, Night Errant of Eos would be poetic. I don't even know what... Like, at least they can't get two plus one plus one counters on it to kill my Cauldron with Helpful Initiate. Should I just play Sir Ginger? Like... I feel, like, I feel like we need Thrill Seeker to win the game. So Ginger is a 3 1. This is one of the fastest starts I've ever seen from this deck. Oh my god, they drew the land. Uh, are we dead or are we dead? And I guess we do have board coverage with Sir Ginger blocking Copper Goat Vanguard. Patchwork blocking everything else, even block Stalia. I don't even know if they have any good attacks here. I mean, they do. They can do a lot of damage, but but they're going to lose their two best things. Alright, we're going to double block then? 
Oh no, this gets this gets four toughness. We have to walk that. All right, so let's go here. Let's double block this, block this. That's not, still not even that good. We could just take... We could just leave the Iron Apprentice and Ginger Brute there. Or just, uh... No, I think we just have to do this. Put a crown on this. Ginge, do we need this land? We could just go Thrill Seeker, put a counter on, put a counter on Automaton and then Thrill Seeker sack itself. I think I kind of do want this land. Activated ability. Take a ginger root. So now Patrick Automaton can't be blocked unless I have a lust by creatures with haste. How's your crappy brew doing? Amazing. All right, so now we go with Thrill Seeker put a counter on itself. Wait, am I confused on why this is a 3-3? Three, three? Oh, because it has... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, right, right. It has backup, too. Forgot about that. All right. Now, we can kill the Copper Cove Vanguard, but we can't because they have because there's a Skrelv in play. Oh, yeah, I could have I could have just won the game, right? I could have went Thrill Seeker on Automaton. No, I could have went Mutt, Discard, Thrill Seeker, Soul Cauldron... Soul Cauldron, the Thrill Seeker on Automaton, use the ability to have them not be able to block it, attack them for uh, nine, attack them for ten, and then hit them for ten. Yeah, I could have just won the game. But now we're not going to win the game. We have, we have the play next turn. Considering they don't all exactly destroy evil. Oh, so we win. We were one off lethal? No, Soul Cauldron puts a counter on Automaton. And so does Scrapwork Mutt. Hey, what's up, Birthing Potter? Seems really cool and powerful. Uh, plus 9, plus 9, face 18. Well, throw. Um. Is it 18 or 19? Because Patchwork gets a counter, Cauldron gets a counter. That's 9. Well, well now it's lethal because we get an extra counter with Soul Cauldron, right?
But it was 18, not 19. I will give Thrill Seeker's ability. To Automaton. Block the adversary. Oh, they have life flank, so it doesn't do anything. Maybe we can still win through the lifelink? Not sure. So... Huh. Alright, what do we do here? Can we kill them? No, we can't get this to 12, right? Can we get it to 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana? This is hard. Am I attacking? I can't attack, right? And mutt counter on mutt throw both. That that's not that's not enough. That's not enough because you need an extra mana off the thrill seeker. All right, so I can. This has the. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make mutt have the ability of Skrelv. And then I can Skrelv call white on the automaton and then throw it with the Thrill Seeker. So I'm going to Ginger Brute. Can't be blocked. Mutt, Skrelv, Call White. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter because it can't be blocked anyway. Like, except by creatures with haste, whatever. Do this. I have to think about a lot of stuff. Oh my god. We did the thing, guys. The thing. <laughs> and I messed up like freaking three times, I think. Hit ya.
Miles are probably the best draw on the deck. Unless they have exactly Leyline Binding. Plus a red source. Do they have a mountain plus Leyline Binding? Yes or no? And it has to be an untapped mountain. Not an untapped mountain. Soul Cauldron. I mean, Soul Cauldron might not be the play because it just gets Leyland Binding. So I think I'm just going to play out the engine. And they can Leyland Binding the engine if they want. Uh, reading the card explains the card. Ward 2. Oh my god, they targeted it. <laughs> okay. We take those. Adversary. Thrill Seeker. Alright, Soul Cauldron. Ginge. Don't you love playing Ginger Brute and Sir Ginger in the same deck? I love it. I'm not blocking with these mounts, I'll attack with them. It's like watching Shrek all over again. No attacks. Wait, what? Oh, they have a monster roll. No block. Yeah, that's obvious. Use this because I can, I guess. Ginge. I have an idea. Why don't I sacrifice this to gain three life? And then exile this so that every card can gain three life. Three adversaries. We could have another monster roll. Five damage to a creature. Another soul cauldron, that's legendary. Um, huh. Can I die? I hope not.
Um. I don't think I can. Can I die? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're just dead, right? Nice. Alright guys, thank you for hanging out. Hopefully you had fun with a whole bunch of creature synergy shenanigans. Uh, say creature synergy shenanigans five times fast and see if you can get it. Anyway, thank you once again to Glenn for creating this deck, and it's super fun. Uh, I might have to tweak around some things, maybe add some uh, another removal spell outside of Eldarian Thrillseeker, because it seems like in best of one against mono red and mono white. Um, it needs a little bit more of that, but there is some abrades and end festivities in the sideboard as well, so you can tinker around with that if you want to try this out in best of one. Anyway, the deck list, as always, is down in the description below. Thank you for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one, and as always, peace.